We're here at Gresham Motorsports Park with General Manager Dan Elliott. You may remember him from the old uh, number nine days on the Winston Cup Tour, back when it was Winston Cup. Right. Uh, remember that old Bill Elliott Championship crew? And um, now you're managing racetracks. Tell us all about it. You know, going through the renovation here, uh, Jim Tony Gresham bought this track uh, end of 08, I believe. They brought me in uh, at the end of the year. And then the whole year 2009, Pretty much we spent the next six months renovating new walls, new surface, infield lowered, grandstands moved, tech building rebuilt, grandstands built, t control tower, concession stands, bathrooms. And it was just as tiring going through that, but you know, it was a labor of love. I told them through the whole thing. I wanted Jim and Tony to come up more and be a part of it more because this was their dream. and. It was awesome. It it really turned their dream kind of turned into my dream, and a lot of the stuff that you see here is is how they laid it out, how the setup was going to be, and some of it was day to day. You come in one day, and and it was just grace of God because a lot of it we didn't have a plan for, and we came in, and each day it things may change a little bit, things may change a lot, but at the end we were really proud because beautiful facility, and got to got to really thank the Greshams for it because. Without them, it, it wouldn't have been possible at all. But when you look at it and how proud I am because of the number of competitors that have already been here, and when you look at the wall on the inside and see all the names of the Cup nationwide truck drivers, Danica being here and Dale Jr. and the, the list goes on. How blessed we are. Because when we built it, we hoped that a lot of teams would come here to test and it would be that kind of facility because it, uh, it, it amazes me each time we run a race who comes up and who races. And it's not just local short track racing. You do a lot of that here, but we're getting ARCA series is here. We've, you've had the K&N series here. You've had a lot of big up and coming racing series and racing drivers be here. Yeah, and, and you know, that was kind of the vision when it was laid out what we felt this track was built for. Because when you go back when the track was built in the 60s, it was built for NASCAR, it was built for speed. And you're right, it's not just these drivers that have been here testing, it's all these drivers here today because we've got drivers that are very, very young and drivers that are more experienced that have been here a couple of years. And no matter who comes here, the talent is so awesome. No matter what series you're in either, or division, you can be in the mini stock, you can be in the Sportsman Renegade, you can be in the truck, Outlaw Late Model, you can be in the Pro Lates or the Supers, any division you want to pick and you're going to find talent beyond belief and that's what I, I really am stunned each time we race at how much talent there is out here and how hard it is for them to find rides to keep moving on up but knowing that some of these kids are going to be running the cup series or running nationwide some of them already starting into the truck series now for racing fans here in the peach state this is a great little racetrack to come to when you do have races on a Saturday or even on a Sunday. This is one of the best racetracks you can come to because it gives you a little taste of everything. You know, it's, it's not a racetrack for the faint of heart. You really have to really work hard at running well here. It's a, it's a nice racetrack to run, but it's not very forgiving. It's a feist racetrack. But it, it, it affords you a lot of experience in the fact that a lot of the racetracks you leave here and go to will be bigger, faster racetracks. So this one helps you in that transition. I feel like more than any other track around. For fans coming to watch a race here, brand new grandstands up there, a great concession stand, but you've also, I see on the back stretch here, got a unique experience for fans. Yeah, when, when we did this, we really didn't have an idea that we'd be able to put in this many track side parking places. We wanted an experience where much like the tailgating that you go to to the ball games for that you can have that experience here come with your friends cook have fun have a good time and it you leave at the end of the day and it's an experience it's not just entertainment but it's an experience and we've got 175 trackside spots for our bigger races these spots are all full and sometimes we park them too deep so it works out really well the fans have really liked it a whole lot better than the grandstands, and I, and I agree because you can come out and enjoy it with your friends, have a great time, cook out, and uh, just enjoy the night. And the fellowship here, it's, it's turned out to be more of a family event here than it has just, um, I guess, how racing started out, but it's, it is more family. 
and with the with the restrooms with the concessions with everything that we've got here I know my wife does concessions she's very very proud of that and she does an awesome job uh, my daughter. I know the barbecue is real well because oh, I've, I've had plenty of that. Yeah, I've ate quite a bit of it today too. But my daughter does the the PR for the track, and my son helps with the security and the other things here. And got a great staff with Mickey and Glenda and Colby and the gang. It it's just an awesome deal that even the even the staff feels like family, you know. And to work for Jim and Tony couldn't be any better. Looking forward to 2013. Yep. What's on tap for Gresham Motorsports Park? You know, we're just now putting together our schedule. I know that we're in talks already with K&N, getting NASCAR for another event next year. I'd love to, at some point in time, pull together an, a full-blown ARCA race here. Um, the CRA coming here is awesome. They will be back for next year. And then we will have the World Crown already on the calendar for July 3rd next year with the fireworks. And uh, looking forward to it. But um, we're working on schedule now. and. I think that um, we'll have lots of surprises for everybody next year. All right, thank you, Dan. That's Dan Elliott, General Manager at Gresham Motorsports Park in Jefferson, Georgia, for 41NBC.com.